here we are in the office environment again, and I'm going to demonstrate how the error bin is fully assembled from the packaged item that you receive from the supplier. Um, the components that you see around me have been removed from the, if you like, shell that's created by these two three-sided panels, which are factory fitted to the base, and it's just a matter of ensuring that um, the integrity of the clipping of those two panels to the base is, is adequate, is correct, in the sense that they're firmly attached to the base, and then we can proceed from there. So the first operation is to take one of these upper level three-sided panels, one, two, three-sided panels, and attach them at 90 degrees to the lower level three-sided panels. And it's just a matter of positioning the internal clips over the mating slots and applying some downward pressure and then just testing once again to see if correct purchase has been obtained, which in that case it certainly has. Both, both corners, if you like, are attached to the lower level. And you fix the other side. Same procedure, ensure the internal clips mount over the lower level and then with some downward force just insert that and again test and yes, both corners are firmly attached. So that then has, if you like, the structure of the upper level but for the smaller interlocking panels which have these clicking, clipping mechanisms then are to be engaged and to be kept square to these side panels to ensure that the internal clip rides over the lower level panel. So as that goes down, the internal clip is engaging, the clips at the top are engaging, and thereafter, that panel can't be removed, physically removed. So it locks the upper level, in fact, to the lower level. Repeat the same task on this side, loading that in squarely, and with some gentle force, just engaging the clips and the lower level clip over the lower level panels. So fundamentally, we have most of the assembly completed. Now I'll simply load the lung mechanism, which is two pipes, two cows. I can pre-assemble that and then load that into the bin in one piece. Some downward force, insert that into the base, and that completes all of the handling assembly other than for if you like, the insertion of the doors. The doors are an upward movement and out to remove an inward movement and down to lock the bottom of the door into the base so that the bow mass that you're loading into the bin can't forcefully open that bin door in the down position. I can't pull that away from the base. Second door then goes on. on. And that then completes the assembly of your air bit. The lid itself has in fact four hooks on the underside surface. These hooks simply allow the air bin lid to be hung from any one of the four sides such that you then have two free hands to perhaps load your biomass into the air bin. 